why? Why are we here? If not to try to make sure that fewer schools and fewer communities go through what Sandy Hook has gone through, what Uvalde is going through. Our heart is breaking for these families. Every ounce of love and thoughts and prayers we can send, we are sending. But I'm here on this floor to beg, to literally get down on my hands and knees and beg my colleagues. Find a path forward here. Work with us to find a way to pass laws that make this less likely. That was Democratic Senator Chris Murphy on the Senate floor May 24th, 2022, shortly after the shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. 19 students and two teachers were fatally shot. Senator Murphy's immediate remarks got widespread attention. His clip went viral. He represents a state, Connecticut, where, 10 years earlier, there was a mass shooting also in an elementary school. You heard him say, every ounce of love and thoughts and prayers we can send, we are sending. But he also urged more, legislative action on gun laws. The next day, Senator Murphy was quoted in the New York Times, telling reporters at the Capitol, our job is not to send thoughts and prayers, our job is to pass laws. But there are people in Congress whose job it is to send prayers. These people are the Congress chaplains. They pray for a living. In this episode of C-SPAN's The Weekly, We hear what Senate and House chaplains told Congress in their prayers in the days after students and teachers were killed in mass school shootings. Every legislative session of Congress opens with a prayer. They pray even before they recite the Pledge of Allegiance. Typically, the prayer is offered by the official chaplain of the House or the official chaplain of the Senate. Sometimes a guest chaplain offers the prayer. That was the case in the House on April 22, 1999, the day after 15 deaths, including the perpetrators, from a shooting in Columbine High School in Colorado. Let us pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, this morning we are shocked and saddened by the tragic killings that took place yesterday in Colorado. Our hearts go out to all those who have lost loved ones in this terrible act of violence. Comfort the survivors in their time of sadness and loss. Grant healing to those hospitalized from wounds received in this attack and those who will carry wounds inside them for years to come. As we again witness the sad spectacle of senseless violence perpetrated on our school campuses, we ask your guidance. Help us, we pray, find ways to safeguard the schools in which our children learn and grow and to help dysfunctional families with troubled children prone to violence. You heard the House guest chaplain from Idaho, Bill Shimkus, introduced by a Republican congressman from Illinois, John Shimkus. Eight years later, another April mass shooting in a school. April 16, 2007, 32 people died after being gunned down on the campus of Virginia Tech. Chaplain Barry Black opened the next day's Senate session with this prayer. Eternal Lord God, as we continue to mourn the carnage which happened at Virginia Tech and the flags fly half mast give us the determination to bring good from evil and sanity from insanity. May this horrific shooting prompt us to humble ourselves and pray and seek your face and turn from wickedness. Permit our pain and anguish to force us to examine what contributions we may be making in romanticizing a culture of violence. May the shooting in Blacksburg, Virginia, keep us alert to the battle we fight against principalities, powers, and evil in our world. In the House after the Virginia Tech shooting, Speaker Nancy Pelosi introduced Chaplain Daniel Coughlin, whose prayer borrowed from the Hebrew Bible. 
The House will be in order. The prayer will be offered by the chaplain. All-powerful God, yet so loving and merciful, be present and attentive to those most in need. A nation tossed by violent storms and upset by tragic human events surrounds grieving families and young people in schools with its prayers today. As faith-filled Abraham reveals your own filial love as he gazed on his son Isaac, so we identify with any parent who groans in mourning over the lifeless body of a child. Bring your love to bear upon the campus of Virginia Tech and all the families affected by the crackling sound of gunfire and then the unbearable silence that follows. Thrown by the rush of terror and anxiety, may the people of God now reach out to them in their overwhelming moment of helplessness. On December 14, 2012, 26 people were killed in the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting in Newtown, Connecticut. 20 of the victims were children between 6 and 7 years old. Congress was in session three days later as burials were underway. Here's House Chaplain Patrick Conroy on December 17, 2012. Lord, the People's House returns as the community in Connecticut begins to lay their little ones to rest. Bless the families of all whose lives were so terribly cut short with peace and consolation. Help them, help us all, to have hope in a time of great desolation. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. Chaplain Barry Black also focused on the shooting in his prayer opening the Senate and even urged senators to take action. Almighty and everlasting God, in whom we live and move and have our being, as we grieve the loss of life in the Newtown, Connecticut shooting, show us your way and teach us your path. Make us all responsible stewards of your most precious gift of time by teaching us to number our days that we may have hearts of wisdom. May the incomprehensible destruction of lives still framed by springtime, remind us of the importance of not delaying in seizing our opportunities to do good. Make our lawmakers willing to act promptly, remembering that time is fleeting and that they shall not pass this way again. On February 14, 2018, at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, 17 people were murdered in a mass shooting. The day after, this mentioned by Senate Chaplain Black. And Lord, sustain those who are dealing with the Parkland, Florida school shooting. Which brings us to the most recent mass shooting at a school. Chaplain Barry Black opened the Senate on May 25, 2022. He focused on the Uvalde, Texas school shooting the day before. But this time, perhaps anticipating legislators who would say that more than prayers were needed, he added a direct message about the value of prayer. Lord, as we mourn the senseless tragedy at Robb Elementary School in Texas, guide us with your grace. Lord, sometimes prayers seem so useless. Yet in 1 Thessalonians 5.17, you told us to pray without ceasing. We lift our voices again to you. We pray because you have helped us in the past. We pray because you are our hope 
for the years to come. Strengthen us to pray and work until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. And on May 31st, 2022, the day after Memorial Day, House Chaplain Kibben opened the house with a prayer linking America's soldiers who died in war with the victims in the Uvalde school shooting. But as the first funerals are held today following the tragedy in Texas, we also grieve the innocents who didn't live long enough to have a choice as to how they would give their lives. Lord God, our Father, we raise our voices of grief and mourning in memory of the ones who were lost on Uvalde's battlefield, the 19 children and their two teachers. We cry with the families who sent their children off to school but who now drape themselves over tiny caskets, yearning just to hold them one last time. Our country's eyes are dim with grief, and we call out to you, spreading before you our deepest sadness. Our nation's prayers are offered before you in the hope that you would turn your ear to our cries for those whom we have loved and lost. O Lord, you are the God who saves. Show your compassion to us in these moments, Declare your love to us in the midst of our grief. In your sovereign name, we pray your favor. Amen. Now to bonus clips. We return to the April 21st, 1999 Columbine High School shooting in Colorado. The next day, Chuck Schumer was one of many senators who made floor speeches reacting to the mass murder. Both at the beginning of his remarks and at the end, the future Democratic Majority Leader mentioned prayer both sending and urging more. We'll play both back to back. Today, all of our thoughts and prayers are about one school in Littleton, Colorado. Yesterday's massacre is all too familiar. It is America's recurring nightmare. It leaves us shocked and numb and takes away our innocence. It makes children afraid to go to school. So, Mr. Chairman, it is not enough, Mr. President. It is not enough to wring our hands and pray it won't happen again. We need to act. Let's resolve to work together to do what is necessary to protect our children. That's it for this episode of C-SPAN's The Weekly. A reminder, you can do your own searches in the C-SPAN video library. You can find more reactions by representatives and senators to mass shootings in schools and elsewhere. You can find many topics related to guns. And you can find many more Congress prayers. Just go to cspan.org and use the search bar on top, all for free. Thanks for listening and happy searching.